Look, I think patient-centered medical home, I need to tell you for the beginning, I have a bias. I am a primary care doctor, and when I was in practice and was running a group, we were doing what I think now people are calling the medical home. So I have a real, uh, I have a real bias that this is a great way to go. The problem is it's really, really hard because unless you're paid appropriately, if you're still paid fee for service and then just get a management fee, you are seeing so many patients, you have so little time to see them, that the way a, a medical home is going to save money in the end is always the same. You keep people healthier, you keep them out of the emergency room, you don't do unnecessary imaging, you send them to the right specialists, and you decrease hospitalizations. All of that takes a physician having time to be able to spend with their patients and enough of a staff to be able to do that kind of ancillary work and IT systems. So when you look at the early studies of, this, uh, of these uh, medical homes, you find great intention on the part of the physicians and you find a real lack of capital and infrastructure. IT systems are expensive, they're complicated, they cause productivity decreases in the short run. So I think it's a great idea, but we need more capital, more investment, and we need a lot of patience to make what I think is, a, and I, that's not patience in terms of TS, that's patience in terms of uh, being patient, uh, to really allow these things to mature.